it's Kelly Ann and welcome to another Flossy Friday. Um, it's a super quick update and this video is going out a little bit late tonight. Um, it's, it's been a crazy, crazy week. I've barely slept um, and I've been super slammed at work and I came home today ready to film and I accidentally fell asleep for a little while and then I had to run a few errands so here we are. Um, I only worked on two things this week and so let's just get into it. Um, there was a couple of days where I didn't stitch at all. Um, like there was one day, like when Thursday I didn't stitch at all. Um, I couldn't stitch on my lunch break and I came home yesterday and was so tired I did the bare minimum and I went, I tried to go to bed early and I had shit sleep. Um, Wednesday night, I didn't stitch at all because I had to study for what was happening yesterday. Um, and I feel like there was another day where I didn't stitch or I didn't stitch a whole lot. So not too much progress in my opinion. Y'all will have to let me know. Um, so last weekend I did continue working on Quaker Gone Haunted by Michelle Inc. Um, and we'll have the little things this time. Uh, this is on 32 count, picture this plus, truffle, um, Lugana. And I did skip around a lot. I was substituting out some more colors and things like that and not necessarily by symbol. So um, like a couple of the symbols have two colors to them now and things like that. So I skipped around a fair amount because I was testing out some colors. Um, so this is where I'm at with this. So um, I'm really, really, really liking it. I really like how this is coming out. I am blending one strand of toasted or roasted toasted marshmallow roasted marshmallow um and one strand of pebble beach i think so on their own they're already over dyed threads one is gassed and one is classic color works um so i'm doing one strand of each and i really love the look that it's giving um the dark color is the same that I'm doing for the tree. It is one strand of $37.99 and one strand of $9.38. Um, so yeah, I need to get more of this color over here, which is called Weeping Willow by Classic Color Works. And so I also added in this like mauve color. I talked about it last week. This is the same symbol in the pattern as this blue color so I just wanted to throw it in there for some of the smaller motifs to kind of break up it having so much blue um so I'm really really enjoying this um this is how tall it is and this is how wide it is so that was another thing I just kind of wanted to get some like more accurate dimensions on this piece um but I am really really loving this um so yeah that is Quaker Gone Haunted by Michelle Inc. Really cute. I like it. Um, okay. So the only other one, if you can take a guess, is my Sunshine Trio, which that is not what the pattern is called. Um, I think last week I said what all three of the patterns are called individually. It is three separate patterns that I'm making into one. Um... So if this is your first video, it's not called Sunshine, Sunshine Trio. That's just what I call it um, because I'm putting them all together on one piece. And I took the pattern. I took one of the patterns from the first pattern of the series and kind of created a border to like bind them together. Um, but it is by Stitch Robia, Emma Congdon. It's on her Etsy. All three of them are. So I finally finished, <laughs> I finally finished um, part one um, and filling in all of the um, yellow or orangey yellow color in the word shine. So this is part one finished. Um, and you can't 
tell in the light, the lighting in my house, but you can tell in the lighting at my desk at work whenever I was working on this. But I did have, um, I had to, I finished out a skein of that color and I had to switch to the other one that was in my pack. And at my house, the colors looked the same. And at the store, the colors looked the same because th whenever I, well, what am I trying to say? Whenever I bought these patterns and started these originally, and I've never taken the threads out and moved them around after I restarted it, um, that is back when every time I started something new, I bought the floss and I bought as much as I thought that I might need. And that was because I didn't have a floss collection at the time. Um, so that was almost four years ago. So in the store, at my house, they looked like the same exact like dye lot is what I'm trying to say, think of and say. But at my work, you could totally tell a difference um, where I ran out and had to continue filling in these letters with, um, the new skein, but in person, in this video, in pictures, um, and in non office fluorescent lights, you cannot tell. Um, so that's really, I'm really thankful for that. And then, so the days that I have stitched this week at work on my lunch breaks, I have worked on this guy. So, um, I finished, I was, I finished the yellow, I finished part one Monday. I probably had two more lunch days of work left to put in on it, um, to finish filling in the yellow letters, but I had my quilt guild meeting. So I took this with me to my meeting, um, because it was already like nicely packaged from taking it to work. So I finished all the yellow Monday night. So Anytime that I have been able to work on this at work this week, which would only have been, I think like Tuesday and today, I, um, so yeah, only two more days this week. Um, I finished outlining the letters in the dark blue and today I finished, um, I finished the dark blue around the Y, the word win, the little heart, and I started filling in the A with the neutral color. So the bottom half, um, pretty much all that's left says skies are gray. So I'm filling in these letters and then I've got, um, it's kind of, it's like wording kind of like this with like swirls um, and another really big like block letter for the word gray. Um, and then I'll move on to the pink because honestly, I was going to like retire this for a month or so, but I just can't stop working on it. Um, I just, I'm enjoying it. I, it's one of those that I just, I really want to see done. Um, and it's just, it's taking me a longer time because I am working on it at lunch. Um, so I think... What I'm going to do is this is going to be my lunch stitch probably until it's finished, but I'll probably one or two nights a week work on it at night as well just to get more progress than an hour. Um, okay, so I did purchase a few things, not too many, um, but I did purchase two physical patterns and they aren't here yet, so I'll show those whenever they get here. They should be here next week. Um, but I did buy a digital pattern. It's another Emma Congdon. Um, so I have her store on Etsy saved as a favorite, and I have for years. Um, like I said, almost four years I've been um, stitching Emma Congdon patterns. So I have her store favorite in. And whenever you favorite a store in your notifications on Etsy, if they upload new things, you get a little notification ticker. And so I got a notification that she had added stuff to her shop. So I went to go take a look and this pattern was in the shop. It is called Happy Teacups 
and it's just a ton of teacups all stacked and a teapot with tea dripping down. I am literally about to go look through because I feel like I need to put Haunted Quaker, Qua Quaker Gone Haunted to the side for just a little bit. Um, I'm really enjoying stitching on it, but I don't know. I just, I need something else to stitch on right now. Um, I don't know why I just, um, like I want to work on it, but I also don't. So for right now, I'm going to put that aside and, um, I kind of want to, I really kind of want to start this. So I'm tonight going to go look through my fabric and I do want to change up some of the colors. Hello, rude. I do want to change up some of the colors. I love some of them. Some of them I think are too bright. Um, whenever my kitchen was still lime green, I would have been all about all these colors. But now that it's gray, it's a little bit more toned down and a little bit less crazy 70s. So I want to do similar colors, but I want to either tone them down or darken them up a little bit. So I still want it to be 70s, but I want it to be more of a mod style. Um, but also, it depends on what color fabric I go with. I'm looking at going for a white, but I want to do it on 18 count Ada if I do it on white. But I think I only have 16 in my house. So I'm going to look through my fabric and see what I have. It may end up on 16 count white, um, Ada. Um but I'm going to pick out a fabric, so we'll see what happens, and then I'm going to pick out some new colors. I already know that I want the color for the tea to be a little bit darker, um, and I already have some ideas on tweaking some of the colors, like the bright yellow. I don't know the number of it, but there is a, like, that's 444, which is I think is, like, banana or, like, electric lemon or some some crazy um <laughs> color but it's in the newer colors there's kind of like a lime green but it's more of like a pasteled lime green that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for for the bright for like the bright yellow and the corally orange and stuff I'm kind of looking at doing like maybe a more pastel-y orange with a more burnt orange to kind of like play on that. So um, maybe just, I'm just wanting to tone down some of the brightness, not all of it, um, but just make it look a little bit more in with my kitchen, um, which is what I do for almost everything to be quite honest. So um, I'm excited about that. So, um, I'm going to be probably doing that tonight after I get off this video. Um, but that is all that I worked on this week. Not a whole lot to show. I feel like I didn't get much progress. I got a lot with Quaker Gone Haunted on the weekend. But during the week, I worked on my Sunshine Trio. And like I said, I barely stitched in the evenings. And... So the progress that I got is the progress that I got. So hopefully this next week will be a little bit better at work. I just need to make it through this massive presentation Monday morning and then I should be good to go. So send some good vibes my way. I would really appreciate it um, because it's a huge, huge, huge presentation um, and I don't know how to predict how that's going to go. So, um, there's that. Um, but anyways, I will see y'all next week. I hope that y'all have a fantastic stitchy weekend and stitchy week. And I will see y'all next Friday and let me know what y'all are working on because it's fun to know what other people are working on. And here you go. You can also have a little glimpse at the pots. <laughs> y'all have a good weekend. I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thank you.